Woo, boys, here we are at the Frying Can Ranch down at Cedar Creek Lake, Texas. I'm going to try some. You can tell me I've been pulverizing them near cans. We're going to set this camera down. Hopefully this comes out better than the last one. I made one earlier. And then I got to check it up. Probably get nervous and shake it up again. Let's give this a run and see what we come up with. Boom! Be a little long one here. Boys, boys, boys. Do I like to shoot? <laughs> Let's wind this puppy down and see what we got. Now, bear in mind, I've been kicking at it. Now, look at them nice, clean holes right there. Nice, nice, nice. Now, I'm going to explain this to you in a minute. Because <laughs> I've been kind of playing with these all morning long, so. Yeah, I'll miss this one a couple times. Miss this one a couple times, but got him up there pretty good. All the way around exit wounds. <laughs> now listen to this. Listen to this. Yeah, it'd be hard to see. I got that fire going out there. I'll shoot you some smoke on this. You can see I got my burn pile going out over here. I did that with that right there. Yes, sir. The Special Ops 22 sniper rifle. And, uh, boy, uh, one of my viewers, Mr. Rodriguez, will tell you, that thing's got a stiff old trigger. Now, I did that at 90 feet, standing freehand. No bench, no resting on the bipod, no support, just standing freehand. I'm guessing 90 feet, you know, from my, I don't even, I gotta get me a rangefinder. And, uh, to give you an idea, if I just stood right here in my yard and get away from all that smoke, that's, that's all the way back there. I'll try to see if I can kick it up a little bit where that smoker is sitting or a barbecue or whatever it's called. So, uh, I think that's pretty good shooting for freehand, especially this stiff old dog. So, just to say, if you practice, 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 you can make it happen. 
Uh, I had to set my scope up a little bit. I think there's a little bit more I want to crank on it. Because I'm having to trim those a little bit, just right on the right-hand edge of the can. And I think that Stewart's trigger it causes me to flex a little bit to the left. But boom, we did it. 90 feet, free hand with the uh, 22 caliber Special Ops. Oh, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie Cahill, if you watch this. This is one of them so-called Winchester scopes I've been running. It's got a real nice AO adjustment. And uh, you can zoom it in pretty good. Uh, no tools needed to adjust that. I think you ought to try it sometime. We talked about it in the past. Uh, Eddie Gonzalez, get yours out, give it a run, see what you can do with it. Now, I, hey, one last thing I want to add, a lot of viewers are hitting me up about, um, you know, what size game I can take with what. And uh, no offense to anybody that hunts, I just don't hunt anymore. I'm going to trace across the yard here. I just, I mean, if I had to for survival reasons, I'd go ahead and do it. So, you know, um... I really can't answer questions about what size game. I feel very confident saying, you know, if I hit a squirrel or a possum at that range of this gun with a really accurate shot, I'd have him, ain't no doubt about it. But like I said, I don't really do those things no more. And, uh, you know, I appreciate y'all touching base with me and reading things and, and asking things in the comment section, but uh, this is not my gig anymore. Uh, for personal reasons <laughs> so but i just wanted to show you from you know if you look out past there and we got a smoke running that's pre that's a pretty good shot for no sport and just laying here with my with my with my elbows on my knees i can do it all day long but boy i tell you what you really got to practice to make them kind of run so whoop. all i can say is that's how we do it at the flying can ranch Boom, y'all have a good day. Later.